We're in the final chapter, everyone. Home stretch. Home stretch. Uh, acid stench. I, I, I'm still having acidity issues. How much of this is left? Like 23 more pages. I believe. Oh yeah, actually, Gunny must remember that the last page is not viewable. The very okay, last so one. All of them except for page 23. Let me double check that for you. Yeah, 23 is not viewable right now. Okay, uh, because it's currently patron access, that was page 23 became patron access when the software rewrite started and we just kind of froze the pipeline at that point in time. Yeah. And it's probably not very heavily to start off the... Wait. Oh no, I did a brain sneeze. Call for help. Uh... This is not, not all pages. All pages up to the start of chapter 6 are live on the website now. We are making the pages live as we read them here on stream. Hold on, I don't think this is the right page. Oh no, I messed up. What did you mess up? Uh, the fix is missing on Stella's face. Ah, oh, the it light. is. <laughs> it is? How yeah, did that it happen? Is. I don't know. Alright, me... send it over. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hopefully none of the other fixes didn't get through. No, 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 they did get through. I, I sent you all the pages. Let me check chapter 6. Yeah, yeah I, I confirmed page 1 has the changes. I think I know what happened. It wasn't supposed to be clean, Giga. <laughs> the rewrite also addressed little hiccups like this. So hey, you get to see the original cover. That will not be seen again. Okay, that's what happened. Uh, I didn't render the cover by accident. If that makes any sense. It does. Send it my way? Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm right, I'm right. I'm right where her boy is gonna have the way. That's my solution. <laughs> Not having the cover yet. Oh no, I just accidentally shook my window. Oh no. You have time to fix this, so fine. Yeah, I gotta hear that a lot. Drum. This guy about to have a Disney duck sauna with the sound I just made. What? You mean this? <laughs> You mean those sounds? It's okay, I mean, there's no harm in learning. Heck, I'm recorded for all eternity getting it confused here on stream at least 10 times by now. It is a-okay. I'm... I'm not a... What should I call it? You don't take easy offense to it. Exactly. There, there we go. Demonic. Oh god, everyone's taking the googly eye stories I did and they're making demonic stories. Stickler. Star That's the word. Sticklord? No. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you the thing. Stickler. I'm gonna also fix that on the site, so... Yeah, you do uh, that right now. No. Okay. Well, I, I wonder this. if I can just go here and replace the image on the media library. I think I can. Doing a quick few hot fixes, folks. Yeah. Oh no, I, I can't. Oh, you sent me the website version, but that's fine. <laughs> so you guys get to see it at slightly lower resolution. 
Hold on. I can I can fix that too. I just need some time. Yeah, we're still live. Almost 12 hours in. So that's what that button was. Yeah, that's what that button does. I'm gonna send you the big version now, Gunny. That's the big version. Did it work? Yeah, one moment. Okay, there we go. We're all good. I need to stand for five minutes because I'm falling asleep in my chair. No joke. All right. You do the energy things, and I will keep chat entertained. I don't know I how can. to energize, though. I just need to stand so that I don't fall asleep for a moment. Just That's... do little exercises. But I get sleepier. Okay, I'll figure something out. I'll be right back. Give me like five or five-ish to ten minutes, everyone. Sorry, I'm I'm weak. I'm a weak dork. What can I do? It's not like we've been streaming nonstop for twelve hours. That is true. Don't whip me. Ah! Today was the day El chose violence. Yeah, we have 22 more pages. Wait. And then we've read through every single page of Star Warriors in one sitting with y'all. And man, if we had actually taken time to go over all the changes we've been making, I think we'd still be in chapter... Start of chapter three, maybe? Middle chapter two? Wow. That's not an exaggeration. We've been skimming over so many changes just to focus on story. Should I bring the bats back? Do y'all want to see the bats? Uh, technically, no. But enjoy the fluffums. I'm going to sleep so well tonight. Oh, my God. I have the power of fluffy potatoes. Do. There's a pat pat uh, emoji of me on the Fox Love comic server. Pat pat the pat pat. In fact, I can probably just pull that up right here and show you. Image. Image. Browse. Yeah, I know exactly where to look for it. Pictures, artwork, gunny, stick lord. Yeah. Wait, you can't see it out over there.
What would a Star Warrior role swap AU look like? A Star Warrior role swap? You mean like Star Warriors make wishes and mortals grant them? I think you're pretty much describing every sacrifice oriented religion our planet has ever hosted. Or do you mean like swapping various Star Warriors with each other and I just went a little bit dark for no reason? <laughs> ah, I did. I went darker than I needed to. Um, that's a very good question. Honestly, the story wouldn't be as good if you did some of these swaps, in my opinion. Like, if... Anthrax was the one to get obliterated instead of Skepsi. The ones suffering wouldn't be in the state they are. You just have somebody who just has angst against their boss for killing their brother. No high school to use. Well, Star Warriors was originally going to be slated to be a high school anime. Like a whole slice daily, like daily slice of life thing. As Zimmerala was supposed to go to wishing school. Scott's going to hear this when he's, uh, when she's, uh, cutting the VOD later. I don't care. Yeah, don't worry. The whole high school wish school thing is that's gone. That's not happening. That's not a thing. Or is it? No, no it's, it's definitely gone. What would my room be like if I were on Polaris? Fluffy and soft and squishy. Just flop anywhere you like and just be comfort everywhere. And also a server room and computer. Esmeralda. There used to be an AU uh, caricature of Esmeralda called Edgemeralda. That used to be a thing in the community. used to. I haven't seen it for years. Pull the lava skepsy and we can rule the world. I mean, Weaver has her phone. I can have my workstation. You curious? It's gonna get better. Because here's the he, he, here's the here's the big 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 reason, the biggest reason this whole soft rewrite and this relaunch is happening. We got some good story coming that required all of this. So this is worth the work. This has enabled us to project chapters leading out like 10 chapters ahead. Yeah, 
Yeah, tastier than this. You know what? You know what I can do? I just realized something I can do. I'm gonna do it. Do, 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 do. Goodbye for bats for now. Image, properties, browse. Pictures, artwork, Patreon, Star Warriors. Y'all were wondering about some of my OCs? I'm just gonna go through it in a uh, somewhat randomized order. Yes, 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 L. <laughs> oh, hold on. In your opinion, what's the worst thing you've seen a beginner comic artist make? The worst thing I've seen a beginner comic artist make? Just think of somebody's first time doing art or, st or storytelling. There are people who absolutely flop. But the worst thing, in my opinion, is when you make nothing. When you want to make something and you just never make it. That's the worst. Anyways, Bab and Bell. Uh, Bab was a uh, chef, a pastry chef, and it shows. And uh, she liked to taste the cake mixture. Uh, this time she was impatient and licked in the mixture machine without turning it off, accidentally turned it on, and pulled her tongue in and killed her. Uh, Bell is her sister. Uh, basically did the same thing. <laughs> Their power is that by themselves, like if Bab is by themselves or Bell is by themselves, they have an area of effect where nobody can understand what the other person is saying. But when both of them are in proximity, everyone can understand everybody else. It's a play on the Tower of Babel. Uh, Anthro Fox person. This was one of my attempts at really pushing the edge of what Star Warriors lore could handle. And this was t uh, two twin sisters dying the same way. Their power is split amongst them and does the inverse when they're apart. Let's see, what should the next one be? Oh, I know what the next one should be. Bab was one like you. You always made fun of me for licking in the mixture. You always called me fat for these reasons. And look at you, look at you, little Miss Perfect getting a taste of the batter. Yeah, they're sisters. Anyways, this is the mixer that killed them. I turned it into a dark matter OC because OCs have no rules for comet cannon, and I made the, the mixer an <laughs> evil Star Warrior. They, com <laughs> they committed battery. <laughs> no rules. Atlas committed battery upon Bab and Bell. What the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, th this is Atlas. What if Scott had such a hard time drawing this because it's like all machine? Yeah, but it, w it was a good challenge though to make, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah. Can they feel uh, their tongue or? Yeah, in fact, they probably feel a little bit too well because of where Deathmark is. It's like they've perpetually burned tongues. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it. 
Ah, oh, that, that was almost perfect. You almost got it away in time. Okay. Uh, let's not dilly dally the little 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 Why did I say it that way? <laughs> but in <laughs> any case. Yeah, I showed them Bab and Bell in the mixer. Nice. Chapter 6, page 1. We're almost done. You go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. I was gonna have so many bats and I am compelled to make a bat OC too. Good. Do it. But also make a rat OC to appease me. Don't do it. Bat and rat. Think about it. Anyone there? I need your immediate attention. I have located Alpha and Heidi. We must discuss further matters together. Regina? Hello? Anyone there? Regina, was that the hologram lion you mentioned? Where has she been? Hey, Denny, would Regina know where Anthe is? This seems vital and I haven't seen her in ages. I'll ask her after. After many years of searching, I was able to find them being held captive by Omicron. We must hurry. Who knows how many more they have abducted. If you can hear me, I'll be in the archives. I'm at Polaris. Regina out. Yep, the stream has been live for 12 hours. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Regina, damn it, why must you be so impatient? Bah. Wait, why can't I call Polaris? Hello, anyone? What's going on? First Anthe and now this? I can't be in two places at once. I'm not Pollux. I don't like this. Regina can't help though. I'm sure Anthe will do the same. Everyone, I have to cut your visit short. We must depart to Polaris at once. Stay safe, Anthe. I'll find you soon. I like Denny, she's cool. Hey! Next page. Can I, can, I, can I just say, this has the same energy as the Emmy. Yeah, it does. It really does. <laughs> For those who haven't seen it yet, I'm not going to open up the page. But one of the earliest pages in chapter one has Ares with a really goofy yelling face. And I can't help but read it as Emmy. <laughs> All right, page two. Can you also do this one? So, let me get this straight. We're using some pedestal instead of the ship to go back to Polaris? Why use ships then? Pedestals take a long time to recharge with solar light. We save them for emergencies. Cotton will be taking care of the ship for us. You guys wait outside. I need to get changed. I've looked like this for too long. I look really old. I guess we have to wait it regardless. I don't know, guys. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't like the call Denny just got. One moment. What do you mean? A god I've never seen before claims to be at Polaris? Doesn't that seem rather odd? Oh, oops. Well, Regina has worked with Savra before, that much we know. Since Savra roams around Polaris invisible, perhaps they- Wait, what the f- Savra's roaming around Polaris invisible? We well, exited through the tiny hole in the ship for a reason. Savra can sneak out the main do- Boom! Aha! Star Wars. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> That's not- no. No, I, no, it wasn't boom, it's BUSH! There you go. Gaia! Gaia! Matrio may be missing, but I'm tired of waiting. What time is it? It's fighting time. Wait, no, he only says fighting time. Alright. Oh, wait, Giga, when you're asking about Green Boyo's name, I was like, Green Green, you mean Mauve? I, 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 I my, my head was like clicking. <laughs> you wanna know the secret chat? I, this guy has no name. I have no idea. I just call him Hyena Dude. Scott does like doing the combat pages. The combat pages are fun, but oh my god, uh, sometimes uh, assembling them can be okay. a drag. No. Giga, you're describing people's color by their cosmic flow. I was going by the literal color of their like actual character. Molov is a green dragon. <laughs> That's why I was like, Molov? I can't believe I predicted his name. I just known him as Hyena Guy. Yeah, yeah, you got his name correctly. Good. 
I use cosmic color for this. All caps, Guga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta change the page. Gaia, are you all right? Say something. Don't worry. It's just my face. Can't make it. That's loud. No, I was can't saying, make it any uglier if they tried. I'll be fine. Don't say that. You're beautiful no matter what. Thanks. I appreciate it, even though it's a lie. <laughs> so weak. I thought you would all be stronger. I guess I found a bunch of weaklings. Oh, just like you said, Rat. Another Arexi goon, huh? Sure am, pretty lady. Say, how about you and I have a little chat and dance? Would hate to punch a pretty fat lady like you. Oh, dancing, you say? Sure, why not? Oh dear, I'm off. Now I must warn you, I'm a very good dancer. Do you think you can keep up with my moves? I didn't literally mean to dance, Pat. Just join our side already. I w I mean, my team would love to... Boo, you're no fun. I'm Arcane Star Warrior 19. I am the sun. I radiate joy for those I love. As for those I hate, Solar Flare. Bush! Boom. The light, it's so bright. I can still see it with my eyes closed. Bing. Yeah, XIX is 19. I just like, I just, I know she says like, I radiate joy for those I love and for those I hate, die. <laughs> just like, a, just a big die instead of solar flare. You know? <laughs> Pull the Luna. The trick to Roman numerals? If the smaller number comes before a bigger number, it's subtracting from the bigger number. So yeah. one ten, therefore nine. Otherwise, it's just adding. Yeah. They're not that hard. You to ready? Learn. Uh, yes. I'm ready. What the? Where are you? What have you done to my eyes? I can't see. It's not even blurry. I can't. S I see nothing. You blinded me for your. You. You blinded me, you cheating. Bitch. Oh, don't worry about that. I've gone blind too. However, I have no need for sight when I can just dance. Because the dance is to let your body ride the cosmic flow of the universe. You want to change so badly, you fail to see the world change around you. See? No reaction, despite what I've done to you. That is a blindness on your own soul. Blade Dance! Sorry, Blade Dance. Never underestimate a most beautiful, elegant dance. Where, Giga? Which panel? Which bubble? Blinded me. Between blinded and me? You blinded? Me? You blinded me. No, no comma. Still a flare radius stagger or targeted uh, targeted one. Uh area. Uh next page. Page six, page five. Yeah. I can't count. That's okay. I can't wait to interrogate this rude hyena snake thing. Ugh, not to be rude, but I don't think that guy is talking in that state anytime soon. Hey, uh, Kai, right? Are you sure he can't escape from that? No escape at all. My cosmic web is tough and very strong. Here, I'll show you. Thwack. Yeah. See? It was even able to withstand a huge swing from my staff. That must have hurt. That's what he gets for bothering Denny's friends. How is Mistress? Cooking bad tasting things as usual? Oh, she cooked for us, all right. You tasted her food? Well, her mortal followers have, the poor souls. Anyways, I know she called me to take care of her home, but why is she still inside? She's just changing her clothes. Clothes? Oh, I doubt it. If she takes this long, it means she's changing her... I'm done. What do you think? Wow, mistress, I've never seen this form before. That's Dinny? 
Dang, I don't have any Yota emotes. Oh, a staff can't slash through webbing, silly goose. Yeah, I think he knows that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Can you hold there? Hold that. Hold that layer. Uh, I missed a. Uh, I missed an emblem. Oh, hello. Yeah. Dang it. Can you mark that down for me? Yeah, we'll do. Thank you. I'm not changing that now. God damn it. Not in this moment, but later, Scott means. Yeah. Page 5, P3. Missing emblem. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. That's potential. Remember, death marks tell a story. Yeah, it's like little things like this that we're trying to capture. Yeah. What are you drawing? Oh, the yes. Cool S. <laughs> I think this was my first story page. Whoa, really? Nice. Not yeah, the S. It's, a, it's supposed to be this. It's supposed yeah. to be this cool S thing. The V. Yeah. I actually used to be something different, but I changed it. Because Gunny pointed out that multiple symbols bad. Did you know? By the way, to this... clarify, multiple symbols in one emblem are perfectly fine. It was that there was multiple symbols used to represent the same thing. Yes, and that was exactly. the piece. But, but okay, it's because I wanted to make it that way, but it's confusing for readers. Because did you know that Capricornus has at the least three very popular symbols that represent the same thing? Yeah. Gunny found more. Gunny found like five. Yeah, also panel four. That's a this is actually a really good example of we, we removed spaces between ellipses and words in a lot of places. This is a place where it makes sense to not to to have a space. Because the the that is not trailing. It's a hard stop. Pause. That must have hurt. Not exactly. That must have hurt. Like it's it's a, it's a minor change in connotation. It depends on how but, the words are trailed. Yeah. If they end trail, they begin trails. Like fade in, fade out sort of deal, I suppose. Yep. All right. Next page, then. Yeah. See, see the emoji in Twitch is different than <laughs> than this one. God damn it. <laughs> it's even different from the previous one too. What the fuck? Yeah, see? That's the fourth different one. I hate everything. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys think? I'm going full goat to Polaris. Bah! My clothes were also very trendy in the past. Mortals sure like their short skirts. I'll be honest, how young do I look? I love Canada. Oh my god, Denny, you have a boyfriend? Me? A boyfriend? Oh, girlfriend then. Who's Canada? Oh, I see. <laughs> nope, Canada is a country from the old world. I can see the confusion though. Well, now I feel incredibly dumb. It's okay. I'm just not as lucky as Andromeda or Sophie. Yo! I can't believe you guys are still here. Good morning. I knew that super bright light came from the forest spirit. I'm like blessed, I guess. Did I happen to stumble to some super top secret discussion? Oh. Hey, Safrio. How are you? Great. Thank you for your help last night. Uh, why are you facing away? I'm just uh, keeping an eye on out for tree demons. Okay, cool. Whoa, Bunny Spirit, is that you? What happened to your face? You look horrible. What kind of demon caused that? I I'm ugly, see? Why didn't you hide? <laughs> Stop being mean to Gaia. We're not the ones being mean to Gaia. Gaia's being mean to herself. Yeah, Gaia has issues. 
Also, yes, we were just know about Canada because we would remember the planet exploded. Like long before we ever existed, Earth mm -hmm. blew up. Yeah. It's like, what? You've never been to Pangea before? What do you mean? <laughs> I forgot Earth doesn't exist in stars. Yeah, it, it happens. Don't worry. I forgot as well. Earth and... doesn't happen. <laughs> Earth doesn't exist in Star Wars. Oh, it's no. gone. No, Earth existed. Not anymore. Earth is a thing is a is a thing of legends. Yeah, oh and one one thing to clarify. Down here, right down here, this bubble? It used to be like twelve words. It's four words now. And it's better. Also it tells it tells the same story. Yeah. It says it better. In the issue here, was it before it was reduced? Nobody could read what this bubble was. Yeah. So this was just improving readability. Uh oh, also on the left, if you zoom in on Sapphire's shirt. Doesn't necessarily mean that curious, but that would be fun. I, I want to make a Raptor Star Warrior so bad. <laughs> That's like my dream. Gunny, you still want to have your shirt. I, I want to reveal at least this bit. That shirt says gamer. <laughs> have fun with that. Nah! <laughs> Why do you always find the perfect moments to poke at people? <laughs> PlayStation, yeah, those are those are references to PlayStation buttons, but they're not no, they're not actually PlayStation buttons. Keep that in mind. Yeah, there's a uh, line, there's a, a dot. dot, there's a plus and a diamond. Yeah, exactly. Although this one is really close to uh, the actual pink square. <laughs> hmm. I could fill the diamond, I guess. You don't have to. They're, they're, it's legally stink enough. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to make a big stink over that. Next page? Yes. Tiny ship. <sighs> Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. But if it's in Safrio, what timing? How have you been? By royal, Miss Dinny? Is that you? Why do you look so different and young? I have a very important mission for you while I'm, I'm going undercover with my friends. What mission? Can you keep an eye on this little goober here? I need both of you to look after my home while I'm away. Oh, you betcha, Miss Dinny. You can count on us. Excellent. I will let you in to where my patient is. You won't get bored, right? I have my dragon playing cards, gems, and scales. Perfect. Oh, you look great, Denny. Cotton's back with the ship now. We're all ready to depart. Huh? I don't see my Lunar Strider anywhere. Where is it? Oh, right. You don't know. I can make things big or small, so I made the ship really tiny to carry back when we use the solar pedestal. That does take my whole focus, though. Isn't it cute? By the stars. <laughs> <laughs> my voice cracked. Yeah. A size shifting power for my horoscope? Your dream come true. Huh? What kind of dream? I've never been remotely as tiny as my ship there. I'd love it if you could change my size. Anthrax, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, in the middle left, Asafir and Kai together. The gremlin energy is real. <laughs> You know it. You know they're they're gonna do some shenanigans. Like, think about it. He's going inside of Denny's house, where there's the big kitchen in the middle. There's the there's the mm -hmm. pedestal there. Oh, not the pedestal. Sorry, the what do you call it? The brown thing, where you put podium? books on the podium. Yeah, the, there's the podium. A lot of beds there. They're gonna do some shit. I want a spin-off comic of Safrio and just Kai just living together. For no reason. My head cannon spin off series, where is it? <laughs> Lectern. <laughs> Lectern. Thank you, Leon. Yeah, Lectern thank is you. The right one. Yoda, make it. Make it happen. <laughs> yeah, Yoda, you're an artist. Have fun. April first is on almost a month. I have no time for the April Fool's joke this time. We don't have time for April Fools, unfortunately. 
All right, you ready for your page? Yep, chapter six, page eight. Solar pedestal. Oh no, keep your goatee paws away from my cotton. Besides, he can't keep his power active as long as you'd want him to. Don't worry, Miss Denny. I'll use my power on you at least once. Ah, good for me. Good enough for me, rather. Cotton, I can't save you from what you just enabled. Alright, we'll be off. I should be back in about... a few days. Don't miss me too much now. Take care of my home and... cook lots of yummy stuff. Hmm, let's see. What was the activation rhyme again? It's been a while. Across the cosmos beyond the stars, made the sun guide me all so far, cosmic forces heed my plea, may solar winds set us free. Hey, get off of me, I wanna see. See? See what? Dude, not cool. Bush! <laughs> <laughs> it actually says bush this time, so I can do that sound effect. It's close enough. Yeah. And yeah, April Fool's jokes are the best, but there's a convention and a whole bunch of backlog work to get to. Unfortunately. Did you say backlog or batlog? Backlog. Batlog. <laughs> you put on page nine. You're welcome, Giga. Giga Yay. noticed that the rhymes are the same between the pages now. Thank you <laughs> for noticing. Page nine. Giga, what do you think of the new symbols for, uh, you know, Mav and Matrio? Isn't it great? Thanks to the plate gathering solar energy, we can go far beyond the speed of light. Yeah. We're going across the universe in just mere seconds without a ship at all. I don't even feel any different. This is just like the light elevator in Polaris. That's technically correct. The solar energy carries us beings of pure stardust. Others would be vaporized instantly. I definitely would not like to get, eva get vaporized. So, we just wait? Yeah, lay down or twirl in place. Do as you wish. Or lay on the edge of the beam. It's thrilling. Whee! Even at these speeds, it takes a few minutes, so sometimes we would discuss strategy about the wishes we aim to grant during our missions. Or I can ask another hard-hitting question. Bah! There's that too. Like the fact that I have this brick impact death mark here. But you have odd diamond death marks. Since you were gods and never died, how did you get your own cosmic markings? Sadly, I only have a boring answer, but by the stars you're perceptive. She's very smart. <laughs> she wears glasses after all. Look at me go. Glasses weren't bad. Uh, these are... <laughs> <laughs> These are marks that we gods chose for ourselves. It's all preference, really, compared to your marks. So I just like to... I like to imagine that the feeling of us being on the side of the beam is... You know how you grab a stick and you go past the fence and you go... <laughs> on the side of the fence with the stick? You know? Mm -hmm. Has anyone done that before? You grab a mm -hmm. stick and you're on the fence, you just go running and you just feel the vibration of the stick going like pop, 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 pop. So it's. <gasps> Hi, Abby! Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Everyone, we are relaunching my webcomic Star Warriors. Uh, this is a read along. The stream has gone for 12 hours and 20 minutes so far. So it's been going on for pretty much all day. All day. If you want to read it along, come here, but we're very much at the end of this, so this is the final chapter so Yeah, we far. still have 13 pages. Yeah. You were talking about hitting a fence with a stick? Yeah, so being at the edge of the beam would be like putting your entire body through the edge of oh. the... Like, oh. We did not make Homestuck Gaiden. Homestuck Gaiden? What does that mean? I vaguely recall it, not well enough to explain. If I'm recalling what I think I am. Bye right, guys, page 10. Alright, your turn. Your death marks represent how you died. It's even possible to have multiple, varied, or mixed together patterns. Death can be very unique. Only dying of old age leaves no mark, just a subtle overall glow instead. 
there, windows to your cosmic flow, from which your powers shine through as your cosmic Zach color. Zach Seligson <gasps> just donated 10. Hey! Hey, Zach. look, $10. Thank you. Thank you. Also, hi, Zach. Welcome back. So many death marks, burning, freezing, old age, instant death, starvation, dehydration, exhaustion, trauma, impact, electrocution, mutilation, crushing, disease, poison, supernatural, spiritual, asphyxiation, drowning, uh, organ failure, bleed out, hemorrhage, and dismemberment, cutting, or scratching. Yeah, thank you for all the support while you talk about dying. <laughs> Organ failure being accounted for now. Yeah, Gunny pointed that yeah. out to me. Like, Scott, add this, please. Scott, add this, please. I'm like, where would we put it? Where would we put it? And we put it somewhere. Because organ failure can happen without disease and without old age. Mm -hmm. This is why we gave ourselves marks to let our multiple colors shine. In doing so, our powers are far more potent. I love diamonds and crystals, which is why I shared, shaped my marks after them. <clears throat> I'd look different if some ghost bought me instead, huh? Does either having additional colors mean that you are more powerful than others? Because I have none. Nope, a lack of cosmic color just means a lack of powers. That's why we formed the horoscope. Thanks to the horoscope, your cosmic bodies are imbued with great power the moment you are born under our zodiac stars. Star alignment and your birth determine your cosmic color. So, if you are this all-powerful god that is helping us be powerful, is there a reason why you're covering your marks? You even change oh. your form. What? Is there a a reason? No! <laughs> no! I'm writing it down. No! This no! is bubble one, two, three, four. <laughs> the worst feeling. Yeah, I agree, Matt the Shy. Yeah, Yoda, you didn't you catch close. this, huh? <laughs> Don't celebrate the AA. <laughs> yep. All right, I wrote down the edit uh, so we can fix it later. Too late to swap the gunny suffers green screen for a Scott suffers. Ah, oh, we don't have a Scott suffers one yet. Yeah, we do. It's every time you stream. Welcome to the every time I stream. <laughs> <laughs> At least not disappointed. Mm. Okay, uh, you can continue reading. Well, I I don't like the the attention I get, especially when I'm at the station at a station. People annoy you a lot, huh? Ah, yeah, they do. That's God's for you. Can't walk freely without being fawned over by others. They're popular. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Matt the Shy. Wait, wait. Okay, you ready? Yes, next one. Is your time to read. It's not just that, though. You never know what to expect on your travels. Friends you left behind could be in a totally different situation. Are these boxes colored the right color? Yes. Okay. Friends you left behind. Oh, and the purple's Anthony, yeah. Friends you left behind could be in a totally different situation. Be it gods or warriors, they have their own reasons for being there, unknown to me. Alliances could form without your knowing, almost a given considering how long I've existed. So I like to take my own precautions. Oop, looks like we already arrived. Ah, it's good to be back at Polaris. The beautiful <clears throat> tower and the gorgeous lights. Wait, I missed the sound Denny, effect. We are at the bottom of Polaris. Of course. How else would it catch the sun lasers? You read uh, too quickly and I couldn't do the sound effect. <gasps> Bush! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, somebody's gonna count how many times you said that. I don't know how many times I've said it, honestly. I, I, I just like to say, Bush. Wait. Uh, next page. 12. Uh, Gates. 
Polaris's bowl shape is very important. Solar travel can come from almost any direction. So it acts like a landing platform then? Precisely, since gravity is directed towards the center of Polaris, we are free to walk along its bottom. Now hopefully the gates are still functioning. Great, still open. If I recall correctly, this is, will take us right to the jail cells below. Just gotta go around the down the stairs, take the shiny beam, and nobody will see me arrive. Come on guys, let's go. We need to get to uh, the ship inside too, let's not forget. You should probably skip the song it's currently playing. Huh? Oh, it's, it's the Donkey Kong. Yeah. It's not. It's not come. It's not copyright. No, it's, it's, it's talking over words and it confuses people. Oh, fair. It's very slight music. So that jail, same one I heard about. Correct. I've been in a cane at Polaris for a long time now, but I've yet to step inside the jail since- Hey, we can go around. We don't have to go through the there if you don't want to. No need, Weaver. I can do this. Page 13. Ah uh ha -huh. ha. Yeah, I can't even hear the music anymore. Alright, fine. I, was there's reading, right? Yeah. Yeah. Get your read. So this is what the jail looks like. Getting some heavy deja vu here. Are this many cells needed? You think people would stop being after dying? But I guess not. They at least seem empty now. Come on now, you two. Regina is waiting for us. You guys go ahead. Anthrax says he wants to show me around here a little bit. Are you sure? Yeah. We can meet the lioness lady later. I'm going to stick with my master. Okay, they went up now. Are you okay? I didn't think being here would get to me. Want to talk about it? I'm not cotton, but I'm a good listener, I think. I I don't know. My master shouldn't be this vulnerable. Oh, pff, whatever. I don't care about titles or rank. I'll just hold you in my hands. Just relax and talk about anything you want to, okay? Or we can just chill together in silence for however long you need. Pretty much. Uh, next page. Not a lot to change here except that there was this secret uh, Denny picture <laughs> from panel 2 that is lost. To no, it's not lost to time, but you know. Yeah. Ah, the big one. This is the oh, big this one. This well, page has a lot of edits. Before, before we read it, I just want to get appropriate music. The big one. Have a good night, Ayama. Take care. Good night, I bro. I almost called you Ayama. <laughs> Goodbye, I'm a brawler. I'm a brawler. There we go. <laughs> Thanks to Anthe's power, I was able to return to Polaris unfazed with Denny's symbol on my cape. My mind was steadied as well. With their help, I thought myself ready to defeat Savra. There you are, you won't get away from me this time. He was quick to attack, intent on obliterating me. During our fight, it was the first time I saw his mouth open. It was brief, but that is the only emotion I had ever seen from him. Did you want to kill Savra for what he did to Skepsi? Yeah. But as quickly as he attacked... Wait, while it's actually you? I'm Anthrax now. You will atone for what you have done. Wait, is that Savra? What is he... What is going on here? He fled with a weird threat. Is he vanishing? He's running away. Wait, a Stylurgia? Anthrax, my apologies. I'll be watching. You're not safe. Savra, what are you doing? Has Savra been here the whole time? Yeah, that's the that's the big page. Yeah, like you can see all the little people. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I believe that's uh, Yoda and Gunny actually. Yep. Just arguing about code or something. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I I there's a pink there's the pink pixel that got upgraded to a two by four. 
Where to, was that? To, uh, between Sabra and the building, I think. Yeah, if you zoom in. No, not there. It was, I think it's down there. Uh, I think that, yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah. There's the pink star, there's the pink pixel upgraded. The pixel lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, this page was massive. One, two, three, four, five panels had to change art in total. Oh my god. Came out great. Yeah, I think it, we took a whole stream fixing up this two page. Two streams. Two streams. Jeez, yeah. Yeah. I was like working on a new page. Almost. Yeah, it's your turn. Being at Polaris has been hard since then. Too many memories, a deep emptiness in my heart that may never go away, and that <laughs> lizard skulking around unseen. What exactly is Sovereign doing? I had no idea he was around until recently. Sylvain told us Sovra showed up once while she was dancing. After what happened to her, she only danced in private on Polaris. What happened? Phew. He grabbed her by the neck, like he's done with many others. He tries to scare us. Sovra skirted his duties for so long that when Stella arrived, she became the de facto head of the council. She was injured, but Cassiopeia helped her recover and settle in. So what, she limped in and took over? Fascinating. Well, not with force, no. We trusted Cassiopeia and she endorsed Stella. Whoa, what? This was before Cassiopeia stole from us and changed form. She wasn't always banned from Polaris. No, I mean, who is that? I thought we were alone down here. That big reptile, is that what, Sa Savra? Oh, so it is Zavra. Odd. You'd think he would keep the Lion God as company, huh? Uh-huh. I freaked out. The Giga says. Of course, of course I'll laugh you if you got that explains so much. I know, right? Isn't great how the changes really help the story now? Page 16. We're getting so close. We're like less than 10 pages away, actually. Yeah. This is another page with, with a lot of overhauls, too. The coming one? This one? No, the one that we just left. Oh, okay. No, yeah. Absolutely. Stylugia, lend me the power of the devil once more. Sorry, I was in the mid stretch there. <laughs> he just vanished. We were shh. So, are we okay now? I assume Sarah would have, like, grabbed us if he saw we were here. I don't think we'd seen him. Well, sorry, I don't think we'd see him. This is the closest I've seen him since my return. Oh? What are you thinking? Are there any other doors that way? Not at all, why? That is very weird, don't you think? In what way? Sarah and Denny, they don't see each other. You can go invisible. Yeah, I know that. Oh, sorry, we didn't see each other. Um, you can go invisible. Yeah, I know that. But why would he remove invisibility just to be invisible again? He couldn't just pop into reality. You know what I mean? Where did he come from? There's no other way to enter. You up for some snooping around this hallway? Personally, nope. But how can I say no to such rodent instincts? Oh, God. Uh, I'm having moments what? where my body wants to just shut down, just straight up. Oh, we can do that once the stream is over. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, I know, but it's just that. <laughs> yeah. Next page. All right. Next page. Page okay. 17. Six pages away. 
can't wait to see that line again. It's been far too long. I've never met Regina before, and by the sound of it, she's as interesting as you. She has an absolutely burning passion for fighting styles. She is stubborn as all hell, too. She saw a fighting game once while visiting a planet. Now she insists that even video game fighting styles are worth using. She even mimics their attire. Bah. <laughs> Uh, best to relax before talking to that dummy lion again. Sorry, I couldn't but help but over here. You're looking for a lion dressed in fighting gear? And you are? I watch over Stella's room. I think I saw the lion you speak of, waiting for someone at the library. It's Sylvain, I heard that all arcanes are going to be called to the council soon, so... That impatient and stupid... Can't she stay in one spot for 10 seconds? Seems like Guy and I will have to stay here. Sorry. That's okay. Wait here for Anthrax and Beaver. Thank you, Mr. Uh, I'm Sparky. Don't take too long. Your sister's probably dying to see you. Video games are a canon. Yes. Here, Scott, you ready? Did your Discord break? I was muted, apparently. Yes, you were. Uh, yes, next page. The whole only board games being allowed in players thing, I don't know where that started, but that's... Is this even still a thing? That's from the uh, bonus comics. Oh. Oh, that was just a joke. Yeah, yeah I'm going to count co co bonus comics as canon. Yeah, bonus comics are not canon. Hold on, uh, before I continue. Give me one second, actually. Okay, look. I'm actually still here, as you said. I'm going to get something to keep my hands busy. <laughs> okay. So that I can not fall asleep on the chair. Kirby and the Crystal Shards music. Yeah, final yeah, stretch. I'm... Just one, two, three, four. There's five more pages. There's five more pages. The issue is that I can't draw at the moment for reasons I can't explain. And I need to be physically active doing something while sitting down, so... Instead of just pressing buttons. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> to stay awake, I'm going to shuffle cards <laughs> from my hands! Okay. That way I won't fall asleep. Why don't yeah. you just stand up? I need to read these pages. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you ready for a page? I, okay, did I do forward yet? I did. Okay. Dark room. I never noticed this groove on the floor before. Oh. I... I didn't see that room from up here. Sorry, I didn't see that from up here. Being small has its perks. Uh, not exactly a compliment, Weaver. Yo, Anthrax, let's check it out. Curiosity killed the cat. We could be putting ourselves in danger. Well, I am as curious as a cat. Come on. Let's just take a peek. Meow. Alright, but please don't meow again. Well, I can't hear anything down there. There doesn't seem to be any activity. So I just left, so it should be safe enough. Wow! That's dark. Looks pretty deep, too. Where the hell is this right under the prison? I have no clue. Uh, I can't see a damn thing. Where are the lights? My sword should be enough. Uh, no offense, Rat Boy, but your lightsaber is tiny and doesn't even light a damn thing. Hey, I'm not tiny. Hold on, let me check my phone. I could wiggle it like this. Please don't. 7% charge. Damn. Oh wait, I know a certain grumpy rat that can help. Uh... I'm afraid the uh, the Pokemon cat did come before Regina. Really? Yes. Another Regina was, was conceptualized way before. Uh, when did Smash come out?
Like Super Smash Brothers? Like two, somewhere around 2019, I believe. Was it? Yeah. Hmm. Incineroar appears in that game because the game had uh, come up for quite some time already. Like a few months. Regina is from 2020. Got it. Yeah. If y'all were in the Fox Club Comics Discord server, can you remember the whole Fiddy interaction that you had that uh, that one time? Yeah. Y'all got uh, your ideas permanently engraved in the comic here. Yes, and also other things like you'll see soon. We can talk about it when they appear. All right, my page, page nineteen. Mm -hmm. Ahem. I am Temperance, the 14th or whatever the <laughs> I can use any <laughs> element in the universe. Give you any ideas? Hmm? Okay, okay, I get it. I guess we could give that a try. Set a shining example for me. <laughs> All right, my tiny rodent friend. Time to make you super happy. That's light, right? I happily hate you right now. Let's see. Food. You like cheese? Doesn't it sound yummy? Weaver, please, it's just cheese. Well, I could tell you about a big secret of mine, but you can't tell anyone. I promise I won't tell a soul, living or dead. This is recent, but as my feelings slowly returned, I felt sad and distressed. Sorry, fat, sad and stressed. A newly ascended warrior saw me. He said he was a counselor, that he could hear me out. He was con he was concerned and oh so very kind to me. I went to his place, and then I, uh, learned how to floss. No. <laughs> what? You don't, need to, you don't need to tell me if you don't want. What do you mean we spent the whole day together cuddling on the couch. I felt like a living rat again. It's as if I had never died and was with my family, with my love. I love cotton so much. Now that is some cheese. I had a hunch already. <laughs> you knew? You can't tell anyone. Don't worry. I won't tell anybody you're nuts for cotton. Weaver, I'm serious. Ah! The angry whopper is here. <laughs> oh, people are not going to get that joke. Yeah. Uh, while I was so, doing... Yeah, you can explain it, I guess. Yeah, during the patron edit streams, we were uh, streaming Spotify to add to the silence when Scott and I were both dying. <laughs> and, uh, we we weren't paying for Spotify Premium because the ads were hilarious. Genuinely. <laughs> and one of the ads that kept playing on Scott's Spotify was the Angry Whopper ad from Burger King. <laughs> it just kept playing over and over. It's kind of an in-joke now with the patrons. Yeah, absolutely. Angry Whopper. All right, next page. Right. We're getting close. Could you keep it down, please? I'm trying to teach my new best friend here about star categories, and you're making too much noise. Stay quiet if you're gonna watch. Anthrax, Weaver, how's it going? Did your trip go well? Esmeralda, why are you in the secret, in a secret room under the jail cells? Should you be with Irene? Oh, relax. I just wanted to teach her some stuff. She would, she should know. I can't believe nobody taught her about star categories. Now shush, back to my lesson. As I was saying, we can split granted wish stars into five separate categories. Here they are in order, from smallest to biggest in energy output. Want category 1, useful for keeping DM away, tiny, cute, safe. Desire 2, sorry, desire category 2. Ooh, woo sparkles. <laughs> Alter a tiny bit of yourself. Vision, category 3. Revitalize a cosmic being. Alter a small part of yourself. Destroy space rocks. <gasps> oh, face. Dream, category 4. Power a station for 10 years. Alter many parts of yourself. Could blow up a moon. Only skilled people handle these. Miracle, Category 5. 
destroys planets, get a new body, do not grant, not uwu at all, danger, multiple at once births a god, and so, that is the most important thing ever. Yeah, the whole uwu thing is because the community taught Fiddy what uwu was during her short visit to the Discord server. That's that's a canon event that is now mm -hmm. uh, in the comic. I don't remember who taught her a woo, but you better was be Caitlin. proud of yourself. It was Caitlyn. Caitlyn, thank you. Uh, something else that happened was that zoom in on Fidi just, you know, showing the socks and the jorts. Yeah, the socks were designed by the server too, actually, because Fidi was like, Oh, design these socks for me, please. And no! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> No! <laughs> Milo! <laughs> and the George High was five, Milo. by someone. <laughs> and the Jorts are from the community too. You're lucky she's a grandma, so... Not literally. You'll see what Scott's referencing. Mm-hmm. All right. Next page. Two more <laughs> to go. Can't believe this. <laughs> yes, you did. You did good, Milo. I had you to get do. pat pats from the bat bat. Pat pats for poking her ass. Why? <laughs> Gunny. The gods came up with the system long ago to guide our actions. Know your wishes. I have a question. If I find a miracle, how can I prevent the destruction but still grant their wish? Great question, my best student. All you do is find a way to ground their wish into reality. <laughs> a miracle can turn into a dream, and a dream into a vision. So help them understand their real wish. That's exactly what I did. Afterwards, the star will die and radiate stardust to collect. It's super neat. That's a solid explanation, Snake, but uh, who are you? And why is there a secret room in here? My name is Fiddy. I take care of the jail cells here, or at least I used to until the jailbreak. I'm Sovereign Star Child. Wait, cosmic beings can have children? Not in the way you were thinking of, silly. Yeah, I can't imagine Sovereign holding a baby or even an egg. Oh my gosh. I would have loved to have been born immortal. So jealous. Wait a sec. How did you come to be? You can't just pop in and out. You, can, you can't just pop in out of nowhere. Well, I mean, that's exactly what I did. You've got to be kidding. Did you think I was brought here by a stork then? Please. I'm happy that I get the Ugh. honor. Ugh. <laughs> I'm happy that I get the honor of uh, getting the last page too, actually. Yeah, you did the first and last. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the eyes have not been changed. Oh, what? One more page stream. Getting DM'd. Heavily. Okay. Final page, everyone. Father, I crave sustenance! <laughs> nice. See, I come from the stars. Wishes radiate stardust when they are granted. All cosmic bodies are made of it. It is our cosmic flow. Cosmic flow inherently has no form. It's shaped by our desires and identity. Gods took the forms that humans attributed to them. Mortals derive their own identity as they grow organically, literally. A wish can't use its own stardust to form an identity. But if orbiting stars are exactly the same wish... Their cosmic flow interacts and it changes everything. The wishes drift towards each other, their stardust combining into an identity, and then that's when it happens. I'm the star child of Sara and Sophie, the wish of two loved ones given form. Star children live like me just pop into existence, be it romance, friendship, or even a passing acquaintance. It's possible your wishes created star children you're unaware of. When I popped into existence, I, well, Gosh, the thrill. But what if it was three wishes or more? 
What if it were a polycule relationship? Totally, you could have an entire polycule of pretty wishes. A polystar child. Hehe. <laughs> Stars don't reproduce like mortals. You could have two girls or boys or any mix. It's not like they're getting pregnant. Alrighty, hold on a second, Snake. How old are you exactly? I would be 24 now if I weren't dead. Oh, you think I'm new around here? Uh, I was 9 when I died. I'd be 10 now. I barely lived the whole year. Oh, that's fine. Sorry, but I haven't kept count. Age stops mattering after decades of being dead. Wait, a whole year? Did you guys mean months? You're just 10 months- Well, I guess foxes do have a shorter lifespan. You humans have too long of a lifespan in my opinion. Oh my gosh, all of you are so young. I'm a couple billion years old by now. Hehehe. <laughs> You're what? Billion. And that's the last page. <laughs> billion. <laughs> Yay, we did it everyone. Yeah, Fetty's old. Fetty... Fetty's so old. Yoda loves this face. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> but yeah, no, this has been great. This relaunch, yeah. this relaunch stream was amazing. Thank you, everyone. So, yeah, this was amazing. And to answer the question of how do they measure a year, I'm going to say this right now because that's literally a writer's cop out. We can't have our own units of time and have readers understand them. We need to relate to the human readers on the earth that have normal years to convey our story unless we want to focus on it. Yeah. So we just use human human units and everybody knows what's happening. Everyone shakes hands and agrees that, yep, this is how it is. You know, it's better this way. Yeah, I I uh, have day job tomorrow. Oh really? Oh yep. geez. Well, tomorrow's a Monday. But yeah, that was us uh, poorly reading every single page of the comic that's Indeed. been released up to this date. After we rewrote most of it. Did you guys like it? <laughs> you better. Gods liked Earth before it got destroyed, therefore it would make sense for Earth to be the main measurement. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's... Not, you gotta show this go with that. <laughs> so this video just aged slowly. Mm. Oh. Zach Seligson just donated 10. Aww. One more. Good job, y'all proud of you three. <laughs> no! That. It's time to stop! <laughs> that. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Zach. There we go. Good. We're done. Yay. I had that ready. Okay, that took us 13 hours. Sure did. You guessed 10. Oh, I was pretty close guess. I guess 12. By, by you're, you're Price the is Right rules, I win. Yeah, by Price is Right rules, you do win. Wait, can you, you read it again? I think yep. I missed some parts. Oh yeah, should we let's, let's Guess what? Start. You can read it again, because all these pages are now live on the website. Yep. Also to answer... If you, if you missed anything, or you wanted to read it without the two goofy goobers doing poor voiceover, yeah. feel free to go do so. So does Feedy just age so slowly? No, she's just that. Okay, when you're... Star Wars are dead, right? And they're cosmic bo beings. Their, their bodies don't grow or age. They have the bodies that they attribute to themselves and how they want to edit themselves based Imagine on Imagine dying of old age and learning the afterlife you maintain the body you die with. Looking at all these youngsters who are permanently young and meanwhile you're permanently a geezer. Imagine how depressing your life, your eternal afterlife would be. That's okay because then the, someone comes by like, Hey, you want to be young? I have the solution. Get some stardust for me. <laughs> and that's how you get wrapped up in a cult that uses you. <laughs> Wow, it's literally no different than Earth right now, abusing the old for what they want and lost. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mental hygiene? Well, I mean, there's no, well, there's exhaustion, but there's no, like, 
De there's, um, okay, there's exhaustion, but there's not deterioration. I guess mental maturity sense. does develop. Yes. Because how can it not? <laughs> no, don't abuse the old. Like, if somebody was a toddler when they were ascended, they would still have a toddler's body, but after a few centuries, they'd pretty much be like a wise adult. Fidi is only a star child by what, what their species is, are. It's a species type, basically. Yeah. That's very important to this uh, to determine. Yeah. They become boss baby. Do not say that to. Me. <gasps> Do not zoom in on the feedy face that boss I drew recently. Boss baby's cannon. No, don't say that. Boss baby's cannon. This stream is already cursed. Oh my god! Yes. Aha. Man, I died cannon. so old. Young guy, I died from drowning after being run over. Old person, suddenly I'm glad I lived a full life. Oh. Yoda, no. Yoda, yes! Yoda, no. I can't believe there's something that Yoda and Gunny finally shake hands on. And it's boss all baby of all- makes you suffer. And it's boss baby of all things. I'm the co-writer, everybody. I'm gonna make boss baby happen. Do not say these things. I'm going to DM you right now, Scott, and you're going to scream and hate me. I'm just... I just have cards to keep myself awake right now, so... I just sent you one word in DMs. <laughs> I can't react to that, you know, but uh, internally... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm so happy with this stream. Everyone. Yeah, this was worth it. I'm glad you enjoyed the relaunch. We had a consistent average of 35 uh, people watching. And that's awesome. Yeah, that was pretty good. You guys should also give yourselves a pat in the back. What? What's the current page doing? No! 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 The current page is memeing me. <laughs> yeah uh i'm done for tonight but i'm not gonna sleep yet because if i sleep this early it's not gonna be good for me wait it's 11 p.m <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well a good time i sleep. had a good life well guys hold on what, what what's this request before we end stream. What's the request, Bryce? The request is to rest. We're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I I'll be ready. I love answering questions. We're ignoring them. I'm well, not ignoring, but you know what I mean. I upload the VOD. Would it be possible to upload it in parts? Yes, it's going to be in parts. Yes, it that is, is going a very to be in reasonable parts. Request because it's going to be too long for you to. I need to split it in six parts. Chapter zero to one. Chapter 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yeah. Boo, give me the long play. <laughs> That's why we will have a playlist. Yes. Just run autoplay on the playlist. No, it, please read it again. And please, if you like the comic, do share it with people. And if you do like what we do, and what we, we, what we stream, check us out on Foxglove Comics. Yeah, and if you wish to support our work, please do uh, consider becoming a patron. I'm currently Give me a second. trying to run around for the Patreon link. Oh, damn it. I need to edit the command for the comic here. There we go. Wait, no, that's not the right thing. There we go. <laughs> that's the real one. There we go. I know it says it updates every Friday. However, that's far from the truth right now. We still have more to do. Yeah. Re we still we aim to resume production soon. But this was the biggest hurdle towards resuming production. I don't know if this will come before production or after. But we are also going to be re rebooting the Patreon at some point. Yep. It's very important to do so. I'm. Oh, that's going to be the next part. I'm gonna have fun at Iffy for sure. That's gonna be like my vacation. That's then your I'm vacation. Yeah. Yep. Then I'm going back to work immediately after that. 
is I have commissions to do. And part of the Patreon reboot is to address uh, commission work, actually. You'll see what I mean soon. Alright, any final words, Gunny? Um... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no final words, other than thank you for having me on as your co-writer, and I'm really proud of the work that we did together. Absolutely. Thank you for believing in my work, too. Yeah. I can't wait to cause more suffering soon with the new content. Don't let your kids watch it. For real though, this is a PG-13 comic. Don't let children read. Yeah. Oh god. Thank you, Caitlin drew it. Oh, uh, apparently the green screens are not in the stream over. Oh my bad. Uh, uh, let me go back to the relaunch screen. <laughs> Good job. Relaunch screen, where is it? Relaunch, relaunch, relaunch. Hurts. There it is. Uh, don't say that. Uh, it. Don't, okay, that one played. So, Gunny <clears throat> suffers, point in the middle of the stream, and confetti played. So I'm gonna play, you know, I'm gonna play every green screen at once. Yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> we never did the tape one. Oh yeah, because I disabled it. But at least it's oh. there. But it's the final okay. one. <laughs> All right, John Cena just licked <laughs> Marcus' finger. All right, now for real. <laughs>